Hey guys, Tetos here, coming at you with another replay guide, this time featuring the website op.gg, which is very useful when recording League of Legends games as well, and you don't even need to download anything for it. You don't need a program to replay the replays, you don't have to upgrade the replay, you just have to use this website, as I say, and follow the instructions. First step is the easiest probably, you just have to start a game, get into champion select and select your champion. Then also you have to wait for the loading screen, which looks like this, as you know it, until you can proceed with the other steps. So when you see this screen, you can finally go to the website, op.gg, look for a summoner profile, and then look for the current game information, which is like LOL King now. Then you can see that there is a record button on the top right, which basically tells the website to start spectating and recording your game. So just click this and play your game as you always do it, doesn't matter if you win or lose, it doesn't really matter if you stay on the website or if you click somewhere else because you, j and you have to wait for the recording to finish anyway, which is similar to how you have to wait for your replays or for your recordings or for the spe spectator stream when you record with Baron replays or LOL replay for example. So sadly I've lost this game. But don't worry, it doesn't really matter that much, I finally made diamond anyway. So, now we can proceed with the other steps. And the next step, of course, is to find out how you can actually get that replay or recording. First off, you will notice that refreshing the page will not actually refresh your summoner profile. You have to press renew data for this to happen. Also, if you click uh, for the current information, there is nothing to display because obviously the game is finished. So, once you've clicked new data, you will notice that the game I just played shows up, uh, the Lulu game I've lost, but you can't see a replay yet. The thing is, you have to wait three minutes, uh, roughly three minutes, and then you can refresh the site again, and voila, there is the record button, or replay button. When you click it, you download a batch file, which is pretty small, it's just a couple of kilobytes and once you double click that you will start the replay that's all there is to say really that's that's really really easy and it's also safe so don't think that there is a virus or something attached to this procedure it's really not and completely safe it's just basically saving the where the replay is stored because replays are in fact stored already but the replay system isn't working yet because the Servers couldn't handle it pretty much, so yeah, we have to wait even longer for official replays. But as you can see, it works perfectly fine, both sides. And what you will also notice is that you can't use right click to drag the map around or to change the angle you view the game. And also, the whole game will not be available as soon as you start to load into the game. But other than that, it works perfectly fine. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps somebody out there. And bye bye.